What is power? Power to control people, power to tell people what to understand, power to shape people's minds. What is power? Who has power? I often tell people that the man in power does not actually wield the power, but the man who can manipulate the man in power to get what he needs actually controls the power. Do you believe me? I don't think you do, because there are some people that are powerful that you see that they're powerful. But powerful in which manner? Powerful to control their jobs or their own fate, power to control their own money. What is power? Like I said, the man in power does not actually hold power. It's the, pe ah, it's the people that can manipulate the man in power that actually control the power. So when you look at the presidency, what power does the president actually have? The president is a figurehead. He sits there for all his constituents to control. You have to look at it. the man or the woman who may be president of the United States this time around. How much power will they actually have? Do they listen to their constituents? Do they pay attention to the people who they're asking the votes for? Because since they want your vote, then what does that mean? That means you have the power. But a lot of people won't see it like that because a lot of people don't vote. Oh, they're just going to pick who they want to. They're just going to put the person in office who they want to. Yes, they will. They will. As long as you don't flex your power. Right now is the only time that you actually have more power than those people who are asking for you. They need you. They want what you got. Because each and every one of us Americans is a little battery. And they need that charge. They need that power. They need our okay to run for president. They need our okay to become president. They need our okay for the opportunity to be the president of our country. So who has the power? We have the power. And now we're being manipulated for the power. That's how it works. So the first time you get to talk to somebody in power. Try to sway them. Try to get some of that power for yourself. Try to use them in a manner to better yourself. Because in reality, and in real life, people will use you to get what they need, to get it how they need it. So they don't have to sweat. So they don't have to expend any of their power. So they don't have to use their will and their effort to get their job done. Because you, you have the power. You are the power. You are what they need. And without you, there won't be them, or those people, or the other ones. So the people in power need us to maintain their power. We need to flex our power to give the power to the people who are going to speak for the people. Because how many of Americans out there have a pair of $300 shoes? $600 socks and so on and so forth just to go to church to pay their tithes in the church how many people have the power not to worry about their bills or how they gonna eat if you look at these politicians on TV and how much money they've earned where did that money come from it came from you and the other people who are trying to buy for the power they want those politicians to give it up. So they give it up. Too bad money is power. And most of us on YouTube don't have any money. Therefore, the translation means we don't have no power. But, you don't always have to have money. You don't always have to have strength. And you don't always have to have power. But what you do have to have is self-respect, determination, and the will to continue to move forward even though everything is pushing you backwards. So the power that you do have is a hell of a lot stronger than the power that they need. You just have to learn how to channel it in a way that will be positive for yourself and your family. Everyone wants to be important or respected or revered, but not everybody has the determination not everybody has the gut and the stamina for true power. If I ran the world, 
I would try to make it so everyone was safe. Not necessarily everybody being rich or having everything they want, but they'd be safe. You wouldn't have to worry about going to get some damn food or, or worrying about your rent. But see, it's one thing about power. If I had the power to do all that, there would be other people more powerful than I stopping me from doing it. So there's a, a vacuum. There's a give and, 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 and take. There's a push and pull and all that good shit. So when you think about the power that you have over the people that you control or that listen to you or look up to you, you think about what you're doing for these people and think about what the people are doing for you. Because no one wants to lose their power. No one wants to be sitting at home powerless worried about tomorrow. So thank you. Think about today and uh, juice yourself up. Because if anybody's manipulating you for your power, it should be you. Because you need all the power you can to survive. Our country's going down the tubes. And people are flushing the toilet faster than ever on us. So where is our power in the world? If we're powerless at home. Think about it. I gotta go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tube you later.